Hi everyone, I'm Vinit Kimire and in this video I'll show you how you can install NTSIM on Linux and how you can use it. So NTSIM stands for Now the Host is Mine. It is a super fast subdomain takeover detection tool and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to install NTSIM on Linux. So I'm going to scroll down and I'll show you the installation procedure so you can install it in three ways using pre-compiled binaries, using grace.io or manually building it. I'm going to cover all these three methods in this video so make sure to watch this video until the end. So I'm going to start with the first one using pre-compiled binaries from the releases page. Open a link in new tab. I'm going to copy URL. I'm going to my terminal. I'm going to double get. I'm going to install unzip now I'll unzip it now I'll do CS mode A plus X NTSIM now I'll try using NTSIM like this and it was totally fine now what about using it as a command what you need to do to do that for that you have to copy this ntsim slash usr slash local slash bin and that's it and now ntsim slash t scps github.io and that's it it's running totally fine now i'll remove it Now we have finished the first method. Now I'll try the second one using crash.io and you can see NTSIM is available on crash.io and you can install it with cargo. So for installing with cargo you will have to have ROS in your PC first. So let me check if it is there or not. Cargo is not there. So I'm going to do apt install rosc that's why. I'm going to do it update. It's being installed. You can see cargo is available right over here. It's done. Now I'll try doing cargo install NTSIM. And I guess it's going to give an open SSL error. Let's wait until it gives that error and I'll show you how you can resolve that.
see it's giving an error and it's for OpenSSL. I'm going to show you how you can resolve that. I've covered the way to fix this in the issues phase. There is a FAQ. I'm going to run this command. Now I'll try installing NTSIM again. It's being done. Let's keep waiting. So it's going to take some time. Let's just keep waiting. It's about to end. Let's just keep waiting. It's stalling Tokyo, and I guess it's going to install request next and then end the FIM. Let's keep waiting. So there is clap. Fusers, Tokyo Util, Tokyo Utils, Fusers, S2. Hyper. Hyper TLS request. And I guess the next one is NTSIM. 
Now the host is mine. Until this is done, I'm going to show you something cool. I'm going to the action space for the GitHub actions. I'm going to open up this. I'll show you the workflow of NTSIM. I'm going to click and build. I'll show you setup job process. So it's like this. Run actions. Build. This process is the thing that is being done right now. And then there is test. And then there is test against host names. And this is the actual workflow of NTSIM. I'm going to show you this in the last process that is what manually building. And this is the post run actions and this is the complete job. So this is all thanks to GitHub Actions. So you see it has been installed. Now I have to add this to the path. I'm going to open up Nano. I'm going to open Bass RC. I'm going to go down. I'm going to do a spot path equals this dollar path. Save, Control X, clear. Now I'll do source pass RC. Now I'll try running NTSIM, pass T, pass HTTPS, the GitHub.io, and see it's there. I'll show you where this is located. It's located at that cargo CD bin, and it's there. NTSIM, that's T, that's TPS, GitHub, IO. Like that. Now I will remove this. Now I'll cover up the last one that is manually building. I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to do git clone. I'm going to go inside this folder. Now I'll do cargo build. You can also do cargo build, that's that's release, but I'll just do cargo build. And it's going to start building. And this process is also going to take time, but not as much as before because we already did something in the past. It's been done. Take strap, STP body, Unicode normalization, survey, code, IOPEC, net2, signal, ATI, tracing, want, IDNA, MIO, survey URL encoded, survey derived, MIME gaze. URL, MIO UDS. Fusels, Tokyo macros, pin project internal, lab derive. Let's just keep waiting, Tokyo. Now it's near to end. It's near to completion. Fusels util, pin project, clap. Tokyo util, Tokyo TLS, Fusels executor. Tracing users, users as to hyper. And I guess it's going to install request and then NTSIM. NTSIM. Now I'll go over to target folder. I'll go to debug. I'll try running in TSIM, let's see, it's CPS, IO, and it's there. Now let's see if it is there in the command or not. It's not there. So what we can do is ln s root, that's target, 
Stewart, and there's a yam, Yosar, the local, the spin. I am. already is there. Now I will try running in this I am. Nasty. Nasty PS. IO. So it's not there. I'm going to copy in this I am over there. Now root. The cargo. Bin. And this I am. I guess I can remove the symbolic link. RM, USR, slash local, slash pin, slash NTSIM. And since this cargo bin is in the path, I can just run it like this. That's T. GitHub. IO. And it's there. Now I try to run this against the list of host names. NTSIM dash CF host names txt and you see it's there, it's super fast and it's easy to use and it's awesome. So that's all. Thank you for watching this video. And NTSIM is a super fast subdomain takeover detection tool and it stands for now the host is mine. And thank you for helping out in making this repository reach 93 stars. It's about to reach 100. And that's going to be awesome. That's going to be a great milestone. It's subdomain takeover detection too. And that's all. Thank you for watching this installation video. Have a nice day. Hope you will enjoy using NDHIM. And if you find any issues, make sure to pull up an issue or create a pull request. And I will try to resolve it. I will try to merge your PR as soon as possible. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.